Good morning, Bengals. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Tuesday, I'm Taylor. And I'm Peyton, and now for your Bingo Nation news. The Ed Opp College Fair is today from 8.45 to 9.45 a.m. in the large gym. All juniors will need to be sent to the large gym from 8.45 to 9.10 and all seniors will need to be sent to the large gym from 9.15 to 9.45. Contact Ms. Mudger if you have any questions. Thursday night will be our annual pink out football game. Students' activities are selling t-shirts all week. Everyone is encouraged to wear pink to school and to the home game against Lexington this Thursday. Stop by 401 to buy your shirt. Please congratulate Madeline Gilstrap for receiving second place in the 2D art category at the South Carolina State Fair. If you go to the fair, stop by the art show and see all Blythewood and Richland 2 art. The robotics team will have a meeting and practice today at 4 o'clock in room 4 412 to prepare for their competition this Saturday, October 15th at Dreer High School. Please plan to attend or see Mrs. Smalls with questions. The Culture Appreciation Club recently formed due to a need in our school to recognize and appreciate all cultures. We would like to be inclusive of all students at Blythewood High regardless of their culture. One of the ways we would like to recognize other cultures is to celebrate them during their respective months. The first one this year is Hispanic Heritage Month that runs from September 15th to October 15th. Our own Katia Rodingen and Will Halliday asked around BHS what Hispanic Heritage Month means and here are some responses. I think it's about recognizing Spanish people and the good food that they eat. Even though I have Hispanic background, I'm not sure I'm the right person to ask because I've lived in America all my life, so it's I don't feel the same struggles people like Mexico and all those other places do. And so it's kind of privileged here and we don't get the same sense of life that they do get down, down there. Hispanics out there tell them about how the celebrities are from and how they made it. Without the Hispanic females, there wouldn't be much spice in the world. <laughs> Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is just an opportunity for students of that background to um, uh, enjoy and express and share with others uh, uh, what's been important to them as they've grown up or were a mixed group, a very diverse population, and it's good that everybody gets a chance to share a little bit of their culture and background with the rest of their uh, peers. Hispanic culture to me means good music. It's good for America to really celebrate something like this, you know, for different ethnicities so people don't feel like they're being neglected. It means to me that I celebrate my culture and I embrace what I am. Great job, Kati and Will. Also, did you know Colombia is the only country in South America that has a coastline on both the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea? Colombia is considered one of the 17 mega diverse countries in the world due to its great biodiversity. More bird species can be found in Colombia than any other country in the world. Colombia is also a great place to grow coffee and in the is the second largest coffee provider in the world. This is a reminder that after school tutoring is from 4 to 5 today. Algebra 2 in room 116, English 1 and 2 in room 508, and U.S. History in room 515. Also, there will be a host meeting today in room 407. Please plan to attend or see Mrs. Maynard for more information. 
Do any of you have a Samsung Galaxy? If so, you should research what the company says about using your phone. Also, our own Damian Palmer has more information on the problems with those phones. The Galaxy Note 7 is an Android smartphone produced by Samsung Electronics. It was unveiled on August 2, 2016 and was officially released on August 19, 2016. After the phone went on sale, there were reports of the battery exploding or catching fire. On October 5, 2016, a flight that was preparing to depart from Louisville, Kentucky, was evacuated prior to takeoff when a passenger's replacement Galaxy Note 7 began smoking and popping as they were turning it off. On October 8th, it was reported that a Galaxy Note 7 owner had been hospitalized with acute bronchitis due to smoke inhalation. As of today, the cause of the battery explosions are not publicly known. Samsung cited it as a battery cell issue. Great job, Damien. Students, if you are interested in a medical career, listen up. The district has a new Med2 program that gives all high school students opportunities to get in-depth information about the healthcare profession. From medical assisting to pharmacy, phlebotomy, and dentistry, students will learn what many medical jobs require and how much they pay. The evening courses and seminars will be held at Ridgeview High School starting November 1st. The first three-part series focuses on pediatrics. For more information, Email Ms. Jennifer Coyne at jcoyne at richland2.org or visit the district's website, richland2.org. FBLA is starting a change war. Students are encouraged to bring in any coins to help raise funds for March of Dimes. Purple bows will be placed on doors of teachers who are participating. There will be prizes. Any teacher who wants to participate, please contact Mrs. Garner in room 804. P the PSAT workshop will be tonight from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. See Ms. Mudger for more information. Mrs. Blythewood pageant is coming soon. Pick up applications in the main office or visit blythewoodtheater.org for more information. All students wishing to participate must submit their application to the main office by Thursday, October 20th. Oh, didn't see you there. Just practicing for the Miss Blythewood pageant. If you're interested in joining, pick up an application at the main office. And for more details, visit blythewoodtheater.org. Good luck to the girls volleyball team traveling to Aiken this afternoon. That's all for announcements. Now to Eric with weather and birthdays. What's up guys? I'm Eric with your weather and birthdays. It's now a currently nice 50 degrees and sunny. Expect a high of around 69 this afternoon with sunny skies. Tomorrow will be 50 degrees and continuing to be sunny. That's all for weather. Now let's wish, well, let's wish happy birthday to those students celebrating today. Mackenzie Carter, Sarah Izzo, Sharon Pad Padilla, Connor Lance, Bracia Davis, John Henderson, Austin Cotton, Joseph Lopez, Michaela Martin, Stephanie Carlin, and Taylor Smith. That's all we got for today. Have a great day, Bengals.